In today's video, we will learn how to use GST invoice management system which is effective from 1st October 2024. A new IMS dashboard which is invoice management system dashboard has been introduced in GST portal. It is mandatory to all the taxpayers to use IMS dashboard if they want to file GSTR 3B from October 2024 onwards. For the month of October 2024, if they want to file GSTR 3B, they have to use IMS dashboard. When we file GSTR 3B, we first download GSTR 2B. Earlier, we used to take eligible GST inputs out of all the GST inputs shown in GSTR 2B and leave the remaining GST inputs. But now, if we leave any input, then we have to mark those inputs as rejected in the current month or there might be another situation if we carry forward any input to, to the next month then we have to mark that input as pending now let's learn it practically on gst portal so let's go to the gst portal we have to write gst login portal on the search bar now we press enter now we click the first link now we have to fill username and password now we have to fill captcha here after filling captcha we have to click login button we are login now now we will go to return dashboard now we will select the period which is october 2024 so we will select october here now we have to click search button and after that we have to go to gstr 2b we have to click view button here if we want to download gstr 2b in pdf then we can click this button and if we want to download gstr 2b in excel then we can click this button i'm downloading gstr 2b in excel so i'm pressing this button and you can see that gstr 2b has been downloaded in excel now we have to go to ims portal so we will click open ims dashboard here here you can see all the types of invoices which have been filed by our suppliers in their gstr1 these records will only be shown here if our suppliers have filed their gstr1 if they haven't filed their GSTR1, then their record will not be shown here. Now we can see we have 7 B2B invoices and 2 B2B credit notes. We will go to B2B invoices first. So let's click here. We will take action here. It is important to note that selecting accept button is not mandatory. If any record is not accepted, then it is deemed to be accepted. IMS portal is necessary to mark any invoice as reject or pending. If you want to carry forward any invoice, then you can press pending button. If you don't want to take any input, then you have to select reject button. It is mandatory to select reject or pending button. If you don't want to take any input in the current month, if you don't take any action, then this will automatically be accepted. Now in our case, if we want to take these inputs, then we accept these inputs. If we want to carry forward these three inputs, then we select pending on these three inputs. Now all the marking has been done. Now we have to save these records. Now we press save button and now we have to click proceed button. Now you can see that action taken on 7 selected records saved successfully. Now we have to click on proceed button. Now we are back to the summary and you can see that out of 7 invoices, 3 invoices have been accepted, 3 invoices have been marked as pending. Action has been taken on B2B invoices. Now we will take action on B2B credit notes. Now let's go to credit notes here it is important to note that in case of debit and credit notes we can't mark any debit and credit note as pending hence we cannot carry forward any debit and credit notes in the next month either we have to accept or reject 
as you can see here that there is no pending button and hence we cannot carry forward any debit and credit note in the next month if we don't want to take these credit notes then we can reject these now we have to click reject button on each of these credit notes and save these records you can see that records have been saved successfully now we will come back to the summary all the actions have been taken there is no record in no action all are zero before going forward let's learn one important thing it may happen that you may have mistakenly marked any invoice we can correct those mistakes before the filing of gstr 3b for this we have to reset those records for which we have committed mistake so for this we have to select those records if you want to select all we can select all here all the records have been selected and if we press reset button all the records will be reset all the records will be reset now we can see that there are seven b2b invoices and no action has been taken on B2B invoices. Now we are taking action. Now in our case we will reject the first invoice and take remaining invoices. Now let's do the same. And after taking actions we will save it. Now let's press save button and press proceed button. Now you can see that all the 7 records have been updated and saved successfully. Now let's go back to the summary and we can see that all the actions have been taken before going forward let's see previous gstr 2b now you can see here in b2b invoices there are seven invoices and uh, one invoice which we have rejected so we have marked it in red now let's go to the credit note and we have uh, marked these two credit note in red now let's go to ims dashboard uh, here we will press compute GSTR 2B button and uh, you can see the warning here it's saying that any record on the IMS dashboard where taxpayer takes no action will be deemed as accepted by the taxpayer and credit will accordingly flow to the respective GSTR 2B now we will press agree and continue button and after pressing that we have to refresh this page for this we will press this button here now you can see that GSTR 2B has been recomputed successfully. So we have to download GSTR 2B now. For this we will go to dashboard. And file returns. We will select October in the period and press search button we can download it by clicking this download button now we will press this button you can see that our updated gstr 2b has been downloaded now in b2b you can see that all the rejected and pending records have been deleted from this sheet and only the accepted and deemed accepted records are there so in this video you have learned how to use ims dashboard and how you can recompute GSTR 2B and download a new GSTR 2B. Subscribe this channel if you haven't done yet to stay updated with such informative videos.